students i am manoj kundare the assistant professor of electronic science welcome back to our e learning platform in previous video we have seen the concept of parity generator and the parity checker the link of the previous video is available in the description box please check it now in this video we are going to see the concept of multiplexer and demultiplexer first of all let's see what is mean by multiplexer multiplexers are also known as the data selectors a multiplexer is a combinational circuit that has two raised to n input lines and a single output line simply the multiplexer is a multi input and single output combinational circuit it is also called as many into one type of circuit that means the multiplexer is a type of combinational circuit which has total n number of input lines and only a single output line okay this type of circuit is known as multiplexer it is also called as many into one okay i hope you all understand the basic concept here the multiplexer now let's see the block diagram of the multiplexer in this block diagram we can see that there are total n data input lines these are the total n data input lines one output this is one output and m select inputs this is the m select inputs and the select inputs is determined by the value of the data input that means for example if there are total two data input lines then we require one select input that means 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2 if there are total four data lines then we requires 2 raised to 2 that means two select lines okay let's see once again 2 raised to m is equal to n that means there are total two data input lines then we require 2 raised to 1 that means m is equal to 1 1 select lines if there are total four data lines then we require 2 raised to 2 that means m is equal to 2 two select lines if we has eight input lines then we require 2 raised to 3 that means m equal to 3 3 select input lines if we want to design 16 multiplexer or 1 as to 16 16 as to 1 multiplexer then we require 2 raised to 4 that means m equal to 4 4 select lines if it has the value or the data input value is 32 then we require 2 raised to 5 that means m equal to 5 in this case we require 5 select lines i hope you all understand the concept of select lines here okay now the required input is selected by giving the proper combination of the select input lines depending upon this combination of the select input lines we can connect any input to the output okay e is called this e is called the strobe or enable input which is useful for the cascading purpose this is the concept of the multiplexer is shown in which we can see here that in the multiplexer block there are total four inputs ec triple e met and ct one output and two select lines s1 and s2 okay in which we can see that for each combination one line is selected that means for 0 0 combination ec is selected for 1 0 combination triple e selected as so on i hope you all understand this concept here okay let's see once again for each combination of select input lines each input is selected to the output that means here first ec triple e met and ct is selected depending upon this combination this is the basic idea of the multiplexer now let's see the types of the multiplexer there are different types of the multiplexer such as 2s to 1 4s to 1 8s to 1 16s to 1 etc we can draw the block diagram for 2s to 1 as that means it has the two inputs 
d0 d1 one output y and only one select input lines this is 2 as to 1 we can write we can draw the 4 as to 1 such that 4 as to 1 that means 4 input lines d0 d1 d2 to d3 one output y and two select input lines we can draw the block diagram for the we can draw the block diagram for 8 as to 1 as 8 input lines that means d0 d1 up to d7 one output y and four select lines sorry three select lines let's see once again for 8 has to 1 8 input lines from d0 to d7 only one output y and three select lines s0 s1 and s2 this is the diagram for 8 has to 1 similarly we can draw the block diagram for 16 has to 1 as 16 has to 1 16 means it has the 16 input d0 d1 d2 2 up to d15 1 means it has one output and it requires four select inputs s0 to s3 because n has the value 16 and we have to place 2 raised to 4 equal to 16 this 4 means the four select lines i hope you all understand the concept of the multiplexer and its block diagram now let's consider the 4 as to 1 multiplexer this is the block diagram for the 4 as to 1 multiplexer is shown in which there are four data inputs d0 d1 d2 d3 one output and two select inputs s0 and s1 okay we can draw this diagram by this way also okay there are four inputs d0 d1 d2 d3 one output y and two select inputs s0 and s1 now let's see the truth table for the 4 as to 1 multiplexer as there are two select inputs s1 and s0 and one output y the combination of s1 and s0 is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 when 0 0 combination is selected the input d0 is selected as the output when 0 1 combination is selected of the select input then d1 is selected as the output similarly when s1 s0 has the value 1 0 then d2 input is selected and when the 1 1 combination is selected then d3 input is selected as the output we can write the logic expression for this n that means for this one y1 is equal to d0 s1 bar s0 bar because both has the value 0 y2 is equal to d1 s1 bar s0 okay y3 is equal to d2 s1 s0 bar and y4 is equal to d3 s1 s0 okay we are going to see multiplexer that means many into one hence we have to add these all terms we get this equation okay we can draw the logic equation for this n that means we have to draw the line for s1 by connecting not gate to it we can obtain s1 bar similarly s0 and turn not gate we get s0 bar the first one is d0 s1 bar s0 bar that means this s1 bar s0 bar and this is the d1 this is the d0 similarly we can draw the next and gates for each term let consider this one d3 that means this is d3 s1 and s0 okay and all these and gates that means the remaining on and gates can be or 
in the OR gate. This is the logic diagram for the same. Okay, due to insufficient space, I cannot draw the whole diagram. But this is the diagram of this circuit. Okay, in this diagram. each and gate represents each productor okay this and gate represents this productor this and gate represents this productor and so on now let's see the concept of the demultiplexer the demultiplexers the demultiplexers are also known as the data distributors a demultiplexer is a combinational circuit that has only one input line and two rest to n output line simply the demultiplexer is a single input and many output combinational circuit it is also called as one into many that means it has only one input and number of outputs this is the demultiplexer now let's see the block diagram of demultiplexer in which we can see that there is only one data inputs d in n number of outputs that means y0 y1 up to yn and m select inputs s0 up to sm okay the required output is selected by giving the proper combination of the select input lines e is called as the strobe or enable input which is useful for the cascading there are types of the demultiplexer such as 1s2 2 1s2 4 1s2 8 and 1s2 16 demux first of all let's see the type of 1s to 4 demultiplexer that means it has one input and four output y0 y1 y2 y3 and it requires two select inputs s0 and s1 the truth table for the same is here the select inputs are s1 s0 and the outputs are four y3 y2 y1 and y0 when s1 and s0 is 0 0 output is y0 selected when the combination is 0 1 the y1 is selected when the combination is 1 0 y2 is selected and the when the combination is 1 1 the y3 is selected and from this combination we can write the logic equation for y0 as d in s0 s1 bar s0 bar for y1 d in s1 bar s0 for y2 d in s1 s0 bar and for y3 d in s1 s0 okay we can draw the logic diagram for this equation such that there are two lines s1 we require s0 bar s1 bar hence we connect not get here similarly s0 we connect not get here and we get s0 bar first and gate is d in this is the d in then s1 bar and s0 bar this is the y0 y1 is d in that means this d in then s1 bar and s0 similar way we can draw the other two and gates okay this is the proper diagram for this 1s to 4 demultiplexer note here that there is no or gate is connected at the output of this and gate because we are seen here the demultiplexer okay i hope you all understand the concept of multiplexer and demultiplexer let's see once again for 1s to 4 demultiplexer it has four sorry for 4s to 1 multiplexer it has four input and one output okay the inputs are selected by the combination of s1 and s0 that means when s1 and s0 has the value 0 0 then d0 is selected okay when s1 and s0 has the combination 0 1 that means s1 is 0 and s0 is 1 then d1 is selected 
for the next combination d2 is selected and for the next combination d3 is selected then according to this truth table the logic equation finds and according to this logic equation the logic diagram can be drawn now let's see the 1 as to 4 d multiplexer 1 as to 4 d multiplexer in this d multiplexer one input and four outputs and the truth table for the same is shown here that means when s1 and s0 has the combination 0 0 then y0 is selected when s1 and has the s0 has the combination 0 1 then y1 is selected and as so on then according to this truth table the logic equations are find and by using this logic equation the logic diagram can be drawn i hope you all understand the concept of the multiplexer and demultiplexer thank you